guys, it's Kat. Welcome to my science show. Today, I'm going to be telling you some very basic information about our solar system. First thing I want you to remember when learning about the planets in our solar system is this acronym. It's my very excited mother just served us nachos. That will help you remember the order of the planets. So in other words, my for Mercury, very for Venus, excited for Earth, mother for Mars, just Jupiter served, that would be Saturn, us, Uranus, and in for nachos. So that was my very excited mother just served us nachos. So let's get right to it. First of all, there are eight planets that orbit our sun within our solar system. And we're gonna take a little look at some of these planets and just get some basic information about their position in relation to the sun and um, maybe just some basic facts about them. And I'm gonna do that with one of my students' solar system projects that she created. And so we're gonna take a closer look at some of these planets. All right, so we're going to take a look at some of the planets in our solar system and what I'm showing you here is a student created model of the planets in our solar system and so it just works as a great example for you guys and girls out there to just learn a little bit more about the planets and their position in relation to our Sun first of all we have the Sun and the Sun is just simply the closest star to us and so it, we call it the Sun but there's lots of stars we can look up in the night sky and see all kinds of stars in the sky well this is near the nearest star to Earth and so we just call it the Sun starting off we have Mercury it is the first planet that's closest to the Sun then we have Venus and Venus is known as Earth's sister planet because they are about the same size. So next to Venus, you have Earth. And that is the only planet that we are aware of that has liquid water and can sustain life. Next to that, we have Mars, known as the red planet, and it is fourth in relation to the sun. And all four of these planets that we just looked at, which are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are known as the rocky planets or the inner planets. Moving on in the solar system, next we have Jupiter. It is the fifth planet from the sun and it's the largest planet of all. It's the largest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. Moving on, we have Saturn. It is the sixth planet, and it has rings that are made of ice and other particles. And the seventh planet is also the coldest planet in our solar system, and that is Uranus. And the furthest planet from the sun that we are aware of, and the eighth planet in our solar system is Neptune. The last four of these planets are known as the gas giants, and they are the outer planets. So we know them as the gas giants and the outer planets in our solar system. Thank you so much for watching Cat Science Show today. I sure hope you learned a little bit about the position of our planets in relation to the sun and our solar system. Also, don't forget about that acronym I taught you my very excited mother just served us nachos. And mm, nachos sure sound good right now. So also make sure you comment below and let me know what your favorite planet is. I would love to know. All right, bye guys. Thank you again.